What going on, everybody? I'm out. Chop. Playing this NBA 2K15. Trying to get a 10-day contract with the Toronto Raptors. And he's trying to get me up. But I got him anyway. What are you doing? Even if your hand's up, I can go up. I'm a bum out here, but I'm a beast. Yeah. I'm a beast bum. Got the good defense. Of course, you're going to miss that. That's the thing I love about this game this year is it seems like when you actually contest shots, they don't make them all the time. Like, you know, what you reaching for? We're on a 10-day contract. I'm trying to make the 10. You out here reaching on me? And I'll be up here always setting picks. Like, I'm actually a small four. Seven, or I said seven. Six, seven. But I play really like a power forward. I get rebounds. D-Man and all the boys, they call me Kenneth Fareed, a.k.a. the Manamon. And it's partly because I went with the dreads. But the other part is based off, I get rebounds, dog. Like, I really get rebounds out here. And right now, y'all not really seeing the amount of rebounds that I'm getting. I don't even have my rebounds up. Like, the rebounds in this game this year just seem so... They seem like they based off of timing. As opposed to the other two cases where you can have really high rebounds and... You know, you could just press it and you grab it all the time just based because your hot is really high. This one is more about if you jump too early, you're not going to get it. Almost like the shot clock. Like when you notice the shot uh, the shot meter. When you shoot the shot meter, you got to get it perfect timing. Not all the time. You could be slightly early and still make it. And you could be slightly late and still make it. But if you get that on perfect green, I haven't missed a shot yet when I've got it on perfect green. I don't even know if you can. They said you could, but I, and I've made like, you know, 25 something shots. And this is between the park and the, uh, my career, as well as the Jordan rec center. And every time I've gotten it on green with a dude in my face, it doesn't matter. It always works perfectly. And that's one of the things that I'm loving about this game. You know, I don't even actually pay attention to the shot meter anymore to the point where I think I just found my shot. As he just missed it. What are you doing? But you know what? He was wide open. I can't get mad at him, really. But I just don't even... Like, I pay attention to the release. Like, the actual form more than I actually pay attention to what's on the um, the, the, the ground or on the meter. What are you doing? Like, and you know what's crazy about that shot right there? People like Dwayne Wade, Kobe. People make those type of shots. I mean, in real life. And he, even in this game, like, Tim... Tim... Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. made that on me when I was playing against the Knicks. Uh, Kawhi Leonard made that on me. And it's just like, why can they do that? I don't see NBA players doing that all the time. That's one of the negatives that I had. Like, you don't see that that much. And maybe it's just the difficulty playing on. Like, I started off playing on Superstar. Um, now I play on Hall of Fame just because I want more VC. You know, if you play good, you get way more VC. Like, I'm... Only in my, like, fifth or sixth game, and I'm getting, like, 1,200 VC, 1,300 VC. So, it's like, you actually get VC pretty fast if you play on hard, and you actually do what you have to do. As opposed to just buying a dude and just shooting like you could in the past. I mean, you probably can. Not saying you can't, but you seem to get rewarded more for playing your position, playing your role, and being an all-around team player. And I'm loving that because that is simulation basketball. That is how real games are played. And, and it's just beautiful. I mean, when it comes to playing basketball, there's some people out here that just, like I stated earlier, you know, come from 2K14 or, you know, just, just want to buy the dude, max their dude out and just be able to do whatever the hell they want to do for while they're fighting for a 10-day contract or even on the team, it's just like, bruh, put that work in. Why, how do you have fun paying for it? And that was so nasty. How do you have fun paying for a player just to be good? Like, I don't know. I guess, like, there's different type of gamers in, when it comes down to it because there's some people that want to grind and, and feel rewarded. And then there's some people that just want to buy and do nothing. You know, just, just come out the gate like a 99, 90 overall because on the park, 
I was told that there wasn't going to be 99s and 90s like that, you know, on 2K15 on the park. Boy, did they lie. The first day I was out there, there was a 93. He's a 93, bro. Like, <laughs> that's all there is right now. I mean, the game, it, uh, I, I don't know, you know. I just don't understand it. I guess it's just different people and different times, you know. But I love y'all for watching the video. Y'all about to watch. When this video is over, y'all gonna see what happens to me. I only finished with four points and like three rebounds. As I'm bragging all about getting rebounds. And this is this is what I was held to. But y'all gonna see at the end of the game what happens. Do I make the team? Do I get killed off? Who knows? I don't. I do. You don't. You'll find out. Appreciate y'all. Holla at your boy, and I will be releasing another video very soon. Don't forget to follow, rate, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy. Peace.